Here I'm going to show you a very quick tip for how to remove the NAs from showing when you do a VLOOKUP. Now let me just explain what I have here. I have a quick um, sample of employees with their last name, first name, job, their email, and then their phone number. And if I type in a last name here, I want to be able to get all of their information. And uh, so there you see it comes in very nicely. The one problem is that if I remove all of this, so if I take this information out of here, I get a bunch of NAs. So I have VLOOKUPs in all of these cells. But I want to remove the NAs because I don't like how they look. And it's actually very easy to do. You just use an if function with an is NA. So let me explain that. First, what you want to do is make all of your VLOOKUP formulas. So have your formula already set and it's going to make it a little bit easier. And uh, I'm going to give you an example of how to do it with the first name cell right here. So what I'm going to do is double click and copy the VLOOKUP formula that I have here. Then I'm going to delete that so it's only an equal sign. Now I want to use equals if open parentheses so now it's an if statement and I want to do is in a so that's another function open parentheses now the value the value is going to be your V lookup so paste that back in control V and what that's going to do is figure out if an in, if this V lookup formula returns an in a so next close the parentheses then comma so if it is an NA I want to return a blank so I'm just gonna do two quotation marks with nothing in between them the next thing is comma now repaste in the VLOOKUP formula so control V and that appears right there and then the last thing is one more close parentheses hit enter and nothing so you see this one still has an A and this one does not so let's try a name out still works now if I delete it nothing so that's how you can remove the NA's from the VLOOKUP formulas and I'll leave it at this so you can just see that